Welcome Miami Hurricanes fans around the world and today I am super excited to share with you guys that there may be some pretty significant changes on the way for Miami's offense this 2018 season. Hold up, before we get into the meat of this video, I just want to let you guys know if you are currently subscribed to the channel, I am going to be doing a lot of giveaways this season. We have some big things planned uh, in the works coming up, and I'm actually going to do probably a surprise live stream at some point in the next coming weeks. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and uh, click that little notification bell so you know when we go live. All of the subscribers on the channel will be getting hats. Actually, uh, how, how many subscribers do we have on the channel? It's around 2,000. Around 2,000, okay. Um, maybe one or two of you might get a hat. Uh, I'm also looking into these stainless steel bottles that are kind of like the Yeti cups uh, and putting U decals. Basically, we're gonna to, to make a long story short, we're gonna be doing some giveaways and things and some other really cool surprises that might involve some custom Miami shoe stuff. Just some really cool stuff. We have some neat stuff planned, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so finally, what I'm so excited to tell you guys about. Miami has added a lot of offensive talent for this upcoming season, which will open up the ability to run a lot more, wait for it, eye formation. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh man, I'm not excited about that. Well, let me tell you, I'm pretty pumped about Miami running more eye formation. Uh, it's been said that Coach Rick, after watching film from last season, has informed his team that they will be using a lot of the eye formation this season. It's very well known that Rick also that he loves the eye formation. Uh, he's a big fan of a downhill physical run game and he wants to get back to that using uh, a fullback. Now for those of you that uh, aren't aware, the eye formation offense is more of a smash mouth run centric approach formation. Um, the running threat posed by the eye formation also opens up the play action pass which will work quite well for Miami given their speed and talent at the wide receiver position. Now you may also be wondering what what's the big deal with Miami going to the the I formation. Um, the big reason I'm excited about this is because Miami signed at Georgia fullback Realist George. Now why is that a big deal? Well let me tell you Realist George was the nation's number two fullback in the class of 2018. He is uh, six foot two, 245 pounds. Uh, look at this picture. Uh, he's a grown man. He, he a man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he has the size and strength to be an impact player for Miami, and I really think that he will help contribute to Miami's eye formation plan. I don't think he'll be red-shirted. I think he is going to be Literally, he's going to work as soon as he gets on campus, and he is going to be a part of the offense from the get-go. Now, also take into account, don't forget, the incoming freshman tight ends, Brevin Jordan and Will Mallory. Pairing those two with Michael Irvin Jr., and Miami will have plenty of opportunities to run a two tight end set. Now, if, if you want to break it down and, and make it simple, Miami should have a great lead greatly improved running game in 2018. Uh, take everything that we just talked about and throw in Travis Homer, uh, Lorenzo Lingard, and DJ Dallas. Woo! I mean, you got, you got a very scary Miami team that can come at you in a lot of different ways. Uh, so this is going to be huge for Miami. I feel like Miami might finally be able to establish a dominant run game, which was 
uh, a big part of what was missing last season. Now, because I, I feel like this will take a lot of pressure off of the QB, whoever that might be. Uh, link in the description for my discussion about who I think will be the upcoming QB uh, this coming season. But whoever that quarterback is, uh, it will take a lot of pressure off of them by running this I formation. The ability, again, to Oh, to establish that run game, which will then open up the play action pass, which then allows our wide receivers to make more plays. And then with our very versatile uh, back like DJ Dallas, but then you have someone like Travis Homer who loves to initiate combat, or not combat, uh, to initiate contact, not combat, not combat. So I really think that this is a smart move from Coach Rick. I think that it is another step in the right direction and I think that it will help Miami be successful in this upcoming season. But let me know in the comment section below how you feel about Miami utilizing the I formation more this season. Do you think it's a good move? Uh, do you think it's a bad move? Or, or Just let me know what you think about it. We'll discuss it down in the comment section below. And again, be sure if you haven't subscribed already to do so. I'm going to be giving back to you guys a lot this upcoming season because you guys are the reason why this channel is here, why we do what we do. I love hanging out with you guys. So I'm going to give you guys stuff. I'm going to give you guys some stuff back and give you the opportunity to, to win some Miami-themed prizes and stuff like that. So big, awesome things coming this upcoming season. And again, I appreciate all the love you guys have shown this channel recently. I'm going to continue to upload during the offseason and post videos and keep you guys up to date. But remember guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, it's always better when you get to rep the U. College football vids, peace out guys.